Welcome back. So let's just get a quick overview about what I did with the code since the last lesson. And I went in and I added all these green um, files right here. We have now an order repository, pretty much just explaining that what we can do with an order. And notice it's exactly the same like with the customer repository. We just switched order with customer. So it's very easy to make one of these. And it also kind of opens up for a possibility to make generics. We'll get back to that later because we can actually make this a lot simpler with a, with a single file that can pass in specific types. We'll get back to generics later on to make this easier to read. Now we also added a service for the order, right? Just like we had with the customer and also an implementation for that service. It's the same as the customer. We already talked about the order entity, so that's nothing new. And if I jump down here, you'll see I get an order repository in my infrastructure layer, right? Because I need to know actually how I store an order, right? So here's the implementation on how we store order with the current fake database as a dumb list. So I also added a dumb list and a new ID that I can kind of count up. Now the fake database is your SQL database. So later on we'll remove that and put in an actual SQL database. But again, you need it right now to kind of make this in-memory setup that we are using. So that's all I had to do. Now what I need to do is add a new controller. And I just want to do it right here because in Visual Studio, actually you have a possibility to actually add a controller with actions. So you'll get a controller looking something like this that has all the actions set up for you right away. But I actually want to do it this time just as a basic controller so you guys can see adding a clean controller because that's all I can do from Rider right now. So I'll add a new controller and I'll of course call it the orders controller like this. I'll add that, boomy. And I'll of course also ask, and notice what you're getting is just a clean controller with no information in here at all. And I'm going to be a lazy guy and copy a lot of the code from the custom controller. Be right back. And by Shumi, I just pasted it all in here. Now I've not made any implementation yet. Now that's of course the next step, but I need to do the same thing with that order right here like we did with the customer. So you can just go and check the code. Um, but I pretty much just add an order service here in this orders controller instead of the customer controller, uh, sorry, the customer service. So I need one more thing and then I'm actually done and ready to start working with this combined entity or this relation between two entities. And that's to jump into my startup file because I still didn't add my new uh, order service in here. So what we're going to do is start out with just actually adding the repository. So I'll add an I customer, sorry, I order repository right here. There we go. And then I'll add the actual implementation for that order repository to kind of get the plumbing here for the entire setup. And I need also the order uh, service, right? And I need, um, as the final thing, the actual implementation for the order service there we go so always remember that you have to only you have to both do your plumbing and you also have to do uh, your actual initial setup so i think that took me around 10 minutes to get all of this up and running of course i cut it away because i don't want you guys to to waste your time watching me writing the same code we already did in an earlier series but that's all i had to do now i'm actually ready to start using the entire setup and i can now uh, actually go in and create the same crud setup in the orders controller like we did earlier inside the customer controller. So you can go and do that now to get this out of the way and then the next video will start actually implementing uh, and working with these relations and how we can actually create new orders that has information about the customer and how we can get customer information about his orders. So see you next time, have fun.